chick duty and this time around I have had my hatching time layer system and it is amazing it is seriously a dream come true if you've ever raised baby chicks in a brooder that was not hatching time you know all of the pain points that you have and they have eliminated all of them so this is my second time raising baby chicks the first time around I just had kind of like a temporary brooder kit that was made of cardboard walls which was great it had a lot of nice things about it but all of the normal things that you have to deal with in terms of the traditional feeders and waterers and always constantly having poop and pine shavings and all of that noise had changing that out a million times a day if you want to keep it clean for your babies which i do so they are brilliant right now this is a 15 inch brooder layer and i've got 13 baby chicks in here and they are just about ready to move into this bottom layer a 15 inch grow out pen and so a couple of things that i absolutely love cannot live without is this amazing floor if you see how there's just like a grid floor um there is absolutely no muck and mess in there with the chicks um the genius system has a pan underneath and everything, I know it's pretty nasty, but everything falls through. So I'm getting ready to change this out and completely clean everything. It has been almost a month and I have not had to do any cleaning, which is amazing. And the main reason, as gross as that is, I wanted to shoot a video before is so you can see that I have not had to do any interior cleaning whatsoever. So you can see a few fresh ones there that just dries and falls through. I have not had to do any cleaning or maintenance. Even better is the watering system back there, which is up off the ground, um, never has any mess, droppings, pine shavings in it. And it is all automatically fed by this five gallon water jug up here. Not had to refill once again in a month. It gravity feeds all the layers so I never have to do anything and as you can see it is pristine clean no algae nothing I've really not had to clean it out much at all except in the beginning when I had it very low so when the chicks were babies they could um, learn how to use that as so, they drink out of the waters and the lever lowers it automatically fills up they have thought of everything this is amazing. There are so many things. There's a heater in there. I've got a little perch. You can see the girls are learning how to perch. I've got the heater off right now. It's a pretty warm day. Um, in fact, I could probably turn the light off. So heater's off, but that's built in in there. I've got a camera, a Zomoto camera built in so I can watch them 24 seven from my phone anywhere. As they've grown, I've raised, this is adjustable. I've been able to raise this so they can come out and feed out here. So I've only had to fill this up a few times and they just take care of themselves. It does get pretty cold at night, so I have this side completely closed off. And the nice perk of the, these brooders is that they are closed in. So there's no drafts coming in. It stays plenty warm. When it's really cold at night, I have an external, a second heater there. As they become fully feathered, I will move them to this, this grow out pen and I just need to make sure they can't slip through here. So they're almost that size. The weather's starting to warm up 
I'm so, so, so excited. I've got five new chicks coming on Friday from 4-H. This layer up here is actually for quail. It's only nine and a half inches, it's a bit smaller. But since there's only five chicks, if these girls need an extra day or two, I can start the five chicks in here. It has its own heater yeah, on this there's layer. There's plenty of space in there just to have five chicks for a few days. So depending on what the weather's looking like, if it's still cold at night, like in the 30s, I may start the five chicks here keep these girls here. As they become fully feathered, I can move them down, move the five chicks here. This really gives me the versatility that I need. I've got a camera watching 24 seven and I've got two thermometers. I've got one thermometer on this side right under the heater in place and one thermometer on this side so that I can see on the camera. At any given time at night, if it's in the 30s and I have the second heater going, um, I can make it closer or further back depending on the heat. So this really helps with the nighttime monitoring. I usually run out here at least once a night, even with the camera to adjust the distance of the heater to get it just right. But man, they really make it easy and it makes me want to raise even more chicks because it's so much just less stress and automated. It's amazing. You can just take a power washer and spray this whole thing down if you need to clean it out. Obviously with the birds not in there, but they make it so, so, so easy to clean. It's set it and forget it. It's the most amazing invention ever. We just added our five new baby chicks. Got them in the quail layer, the nine and a half inch, which is shorter. Actually, I prefer it for chicks that are just a couple days old because at night it gets cold, so the heater is lower, keeps them warmer, and they are already figuring out at two days old the food is over the slip, which is just genius. I have starter feeders inside there, but I'm not a big fan of those in general because they get kicked around, spilled over, pooped in, pine shavings kicked in, whereas this is just much cleaner and a lot less food waste. They can already reach it at this small age, and then with the quail layer, you have this cage so they can't squeeze out, which I love. And as you can see, this one's like trying to get further in, but it lowers so they can't really get up in there and poop and make a mess. So this is amazing, highly recommended if you have chicks at various ages like I do. These are two days old. These are coming up on four weeks old. As soon as they're large enough, I'm going to rotate them down to the grow out pen and then it will be no time when these chicks will outgrow this um, little quail layer because it's really meant for smaller birds. But I really prefer it for maybe the first week of life and then by then I can switch them down to the 15 inch layer. So this is just... Ugh. Genius system, can't live without it. One thing that I love, this is like unintentional added benefit. So these side walls are universal. It's the same one that's on that side is on that side. So it has this perforated triangle pop out so that you can stick the heater in. And then the other side, normally you wouldn't pop this out because the heater is just on that side. But what I love it for, as you can see here, is it makes the perfect cutout size for my Zomoto cameras. So the Zomoto camera sits in there and I just secure it on the outside and then I can show you what the footage looks like, but it's amazing. It's perfect cutout. It's almost as if it was designed to go together. So I am getting ready to set up my next camera for the babies that just arrived. And then I can always watch both. I can always see what the temperature is without having to come out here to the workshop and check. I can just, from the comfort of my bed, see what temperature it is, see how they're doing, see if they're sleeping, eating, drinking, all that good stuff. I am getting ready to go and order maybe another layer for this one and then start my next one. I'm just super, super excited to have discovered the system. Once you go hatching time, you can never, ever, ever go back. Thank you so much for this amazing system.